Hi, I'm, I'm Jesse. I'm 15 years old. I've been coming to this retreat for four years now, and this year has been particularly special. Uh, I came to this retreat with depressed. I was, I've been depressed, um, low self-esteem, self-confidence issues, smoking weed, uh, having everything to do on my own. Uh, didn't let nobody help me out. Uh, but God just showed me His love, mercy, and just freed me from all of these issues I've been struggling with. So last night, I believe I was healed from my acid reflux and everything that was going on with my stomach. Normally, I eat around 5 o'clock or so and no later because I will have nausea and acid reflux when I go to sleep. But last night, I ate cookies at like 11 o'clock yeah. and I went to sleep and I had no nausea, no acid reflux, nothing, and I'm feeling great. Okay, uh, my name is Maggie and this is my fourth year here at the Assemblies of God Military Retreat in Garmisch, Germany. And this time just felt really different for me. I was freed of a lot of things. Um, I'm 16 years old, ever since I was nine. I've always struggled with cutting and depression and suicide, eating disorders. I've always had low self-esteem and no self-confidence. I've always tried to be perfect for my family and from my friends, but God really healed me from a lot of things. I'm no longer depressed, I'm no longer cutting, um, I'm no longer suicidal. God's really changed my life around for the better. I made it in the hospital last night. Um, praise God. You know, I believe God did for me tonight what doctors could not do for me last night. And I came up here this, at this evening and I danced with Jesus. That's awesome. And as I swayed back and forth, I could hear him say, trust me, trust me, because I was fearful. I was fearful to sit. I was fearful to wear my cute shoes. <laughs> and they're really cute. And, um, <laughs> but I can sit here tonight. I can sit here without pain. I can cross my legs. And I believe, I believe, I believe, church, God healed me tonight. About four or five months ago, she was unable to um, kneel. Uh, she's had a lot of problems with what are they at? Did I check you? Yeah. Both of, okay, both of her knees have been having problems. She's supposed to have surgery. Before she came to the retreat, she met with her doctor and they scheduled her surgery, ran some tests, and they found that there was some cartilage missing and her knee, uh, the bone was actually rubbing against each other. And today she um, kneeled and she was able to get up without a problem. For the last five years I've had a lot of acid reflux and it gets up into my voice <coughs> and it would wear my voice out. And so uh, ever since I've been a Christian, I've been a, a vocal worshiper that just really loves to love on the Lord out loud. And because of that, I couldn't make it through like one song and I would have to get really quiet. And I know God also called me to preach and when I would teach or preach, I could hardly make it through my message. And so for really the last five years, I've just gone quiet uh, and wondered if God was gonna ever use me again. And tonight when you said when you said acid reflux, I knew that was the cause of my voice box problems. And uh, when I was worshiping and then I had this, this release, I don't know what it was, and uh, there was this, well, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had this release of worship. And I also had a rec recognition, I want to admit this tonight, I had a recognition that I had begun to use my voice for the wrong things, for complaining, for criticizing, for cursing sometimes. And I knew that that was not right. And so I repented of those things as well. So you said you felt something warm? Yeah, I felt something warm in my stomach right here, and the pain that was, I was having pain tonight even. And it went away, and then that, that release to worship, I felt it come, and it came. Awesome. Hello, my name is Juan Rodriguez. I'm here in a conference with the Assemblies of God in Edelweiss. And last night, October the 4th, we had our last conference. It was our healing conference. And Tim, he also said he had a person with PTSD. And I fell into that category, because four months ago, my doctor, my psychiatrist, and in the Army's record, they posted me down as, P as a PTSD uh, soldier because I cannot sleep. I go to sleep and I wake up with nightmares. And for two years, I've been taking Ambien just to put me to sleep. 
And uh, last night, God healed me, and I praise the Lord for that. Last night was the first night that uh, I got home. I was gonna take my, after my shower, I was gonna take my pill, and I put it back, and I said, no, God healed me already. I remember what they told me. I remember what God said to me in my heart. And I didn't take it, and I was waiting to wake up last night, but I fell asleep. And then this morning at 0630, when my alarm rang, I could not believe I woke up to the sound of my alarm and not to a sound of gunshots and bombs and everything that used to wake me up. For two years, I've been waking up all scared. I've been deployed nine times. I just want to let everybody know that God heals. God is the one. God is beautiful. God is great. Just believe in him. Have faith in him. Always just be with him. When you're by yourself, you're never by yourself. Talk with him because he's always there with you. That's what I do. I go to work early in the morning three or four in the morning and I talk with him because I am not alone and as of last night I know I have a lot of faith but I know that God healed me because I did not wake up to any of my nightmares any of them because God is great and I just want to tell everybody God bless you I want to show everybody my shirt that Tim gave me I'm very proud of this shirt I'm going to sleep with it because God healed me and with this shirt I know he's going to protect me like if he's holding me in his hands and I will not wake up, and I don't need my ambience anymore. And thank God, and God bless you.